All right. Uh, thank you for joining uh, wrap up on a shorter week. Uh, at the first of the week, I told you all that I was going to be running Senate Resolution 9 about a piece of legislation that worked its way through the U.S. House of Representatives, which was H.R. 1, that was a federal takeover of state elections. I'm proud that that uh, passed with a voice vote on Monday, and hopefully we'll be able to defeat that nationally, but it will be an absolute um, obliteration of state sovereignty on running our own elections, and I sure hope that Congress acts in the way that the Oklahoma Senate requested. And it's we've had safe, secure, and successful elections for a long time in Oklahoma, and that would definitely erode that. Today I'm joined uh, on my left by Senator James Lee Wright, and my right, Senator Zach Taylor. Uh, I named them chair and vice chair of a select committee on the Senate side that will be working jointly with our House counterparts uh, on these energy prices, utility prices, uh, after the storm. And we saw uh, unprecedented spikes in cost for natural gas. And so I've asked these two gentlemen to join me today to kind of lay out uh, the vision for that select committee, what work has been done here to uh, here for, and where they see that work going in the future. So, Senator Learight, I'm going to turn it over to you to give a update on the work, and you can recognize Senator Taylor whenever it's appropriate. Um, thank you, Mr. Pro Tem. Yes, after the Pro Tem and um, announced this committee, the, the committee on the Senate side will have myself, Senator Zach Taylor. Senator John Montgomery, Senator Allen, and Senator Boren. Uh, we've been meeting in, uh, in a group that includes the AG, um, several members of the executive branch, um, including the governor on some of the occasions. Uh, Representative Gary Mize is representing the House on that side, and the speaker has been involved in some of the meetings, along with the Corporation Commission. We've met um, over 18 hours, um, over 11 meetings, um, the main focus of it is for us to get our hands at this point around what exactly and understanding what happened, um, find a path forward to make, mitigate the cost to the tax, to the ratepayers, and then for this group to provide some guidance on any policy to mitigate and, and hopefully keep this from happening again. Um, our group will also move into a public forum where we'll call in um, different groups to publicly ask questions. With that, um, Senator Taylor, do you have anything to add? All right. Well, uh, we're ready to take your questions if you have any. We are working very diligently on several solutions. Um, I, they're all coming together right now. Hopefully, in the next um, by early next week, we'll have more to present, but yes, there's, we are coming up with some solutions. We just got to decide, is, is that the right path to go, and are these solutions we're going to try to use? I know that the governor was in D.C. Um, we have, as far as I know right now, we don't have any idea exactly what relief would come. Um, I know there's a big push for some of the um, help for lower income and at that level, but um, we have to see exactly what help will come from the federal level. No matter what help does come, hopefully we get help on that side. It impacted many states. However, that will be coming in later months. These bills that uh, consumers may see may be as early as April, uh, absent some kind of intervention. So. While we hope and we're working toward getting help from our federal partners, we can't wait on that help. So the solutions that we're looking at that are hoping to be able to present soon, are you looking for some sort of intervention before April? Yes, we're looking to provide some solutions before then at a state level. Yeah, just if you all have any thoughts or if you've had discussions so far on requiring gas companies to have better uh, winterization protocols. Oh, winterization. Thank you for that. Um, when we've discussed, yes, the, the court comms going to be uh, extremely helpful on those. I think when we move into the public arena, that would be looking more at how we're going to help this from happening in the future. Right now, we've been extremely focused on how do we help the ratepayers at this at this point that will be seeing um, some extraordinary pricing in their in their bills coming. Senator Leonard, I think. 
Senator Taylor had something. So on uh, winterization protocols that are common in uh, energy states that are uh, north, that are naturally colder than we are, uh, it makes sense for them. In the state of Oklahoma, it doesn't necessarily make sense to make that investment. This is a once in a 50 year occurrence, we hope. Uh, history says so. Uh, so it may not make sense uh, to go down the road of spending that amount of money, that amount of investment that will inherently drive uh, the price of energy, the price of uh, that we all pay for utilities up even further. Uh, so I'm not sure that that's the best um, route to go down uh, for a, a once in a lifetime event. Biggest obstacle from my point of view is, is that um, this was a terrible event. There is no single easy solution to um, solve it. And so we're just doing the best we can to get solutions put together. And our main focus is on the rate payers and how we ease the, the pain that they will feel from these bills at the rate payer level. Yes, they are. We, we meet in every one of these meetings with the AG's office and the AG himself, and they are actively investigating along with uh, FERC, the Federal Energy Regulatory Committee at the um, federal level, which a lot of these utilities and so forth will fall under. And so, um, but again, that doesn't, won't give an answer for the short term, and that, that'll be an ongoing process. We got a question. Uh, Dylan, go ahead. Yeah, I had one. Um, I can't hear the questions in the room too well, so if it's a repeat, feel free to say we already answered that and, and move on. But um, I know you said you hope to have uh, announcements kind of next week about uh, what steps you may take or, or, or we're looking at taking, but can you walk us through what's on the table at the state level uh, to help rate payers? Kind of what are your options? What's on the table? If, if I understood you correctly, you're asking exactly what options are on the table. Um, I will tell you that uh, we're working hard on putting some framework together to provide a solution. Um, until all the players are on board, I'm not comfortable coming out with exactly what that solution will be. Uh, I can just tell you that it will be soon because um, we want to um, get in front of this and, and help the rate payers on any um, high costs they may be facing here shortly. Gotcha. Thank you. Anything else from the folks remotely? All right, seeing none. Uh, Thank you all for joining us. Uh, thank you for your interest in this issue. We will continue to update you. I wanted to make sure I brought Senators Lee Wright and Taylor with me because the last couple of meetings we've had like this, I've told you, we're working on it. We'll, we'll get back with you. I wanted you to be able to ask them questions uh, and you will see their work. Uh, it's a lot of hours and a lot of thought on a very complicated matter. I appreciate your work on it, Senator Lee Wright and Senator Taylor and all the others that have We've got a short time to be able to try to pull something together and you'll, you'll be hearing from us more on that uh, in the coming days.